Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll talk about the connection between gut health and stress and how you break the cycle between the two. So if you're someone who struggles with stress and digestive issues, or you're someone who wants to avoid these issues altogether, then this video is for you. Roll the titles. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As always, just a quick reminder that I'm now offering the SIBO organic acid stool test and consult via my website. So if you have any health or digestive problems, then consider taking these tests as they will provide a lot of very detailed information upon which you can start making informed decisions and then start getting your health back on track. And on that bombshell, to the video. So the first thing that we need to do is to break down what we mean by gut health and stress. A person with poor gut health will experience consistent digestive issues such as abdominal pain, constipation, diarrhea, nausea and vomiting, heartburn, belching and bloating and appetite changes. Bad digestive health can also lead to nutritional deficiencies if the body can't properly absorb the nutrients from your food. This can result in weakness, fatigue and difficulty gaining or maintaining a healthy weight. Now everyone will experience these types of symptoms at one time or another, but it is the consistency part that is the main point here. You should not be having these types of symptoms on a daily weekly basis and if you are then this is something that you need to address. In terms of stress, this is the body's response to physical, emotional or environmental demands or challenges. When you perceive a threat, your body's natural fight or flight response is activated, releasing hormones such as adrenaline and cortisol to prepare you to take action. While a certain amount of stress can be expected in everyday life and even helpful in motivating you to meet deadlines or perform well, chronic stress can have adverse effects on your physical and mental health. There is also a close connection between stress and gut health. And like I said just now, when you're stressed, your body releases hormones such as cortisol, which can disrupt the balance of your gut microbiome. Your gut microbiome consists of trillions of bacteria, fungi, and other microorganisms that play a crucial role in digestion, metabolism, and your overall health. A healthy gut microbiome is therefore diverse and balanced with various organisms working together to support your body's functions. Chronic stress can also lead to unhealthy habits, such as overeating or not getting enough physical activity, which can further disrupt your gut health. These unhealthy habits can disrupt the balance of your gut microbiome and lead to inflammation, which can contribute to various digestive issues, such as abdominal pain, constipation, diarrhea, and bloating. But the relationship between gut health and stress is also a two-way street. An imbalanced gut microbiome can actually contribute to stress and other mental health issues. This is because the gut and brain are connected through a network of neurons, hormones and other signaling molecules, a system known as the gut-brain axis. Research consistently shows that an imbalanced gut microbiome can lead to inflammation, disrupting the gut-brain axis and contributing to stress and other mental health issues. In other words, a stress in an imbalanced gut microbiome can feed into each other and create a vicious cycle. Chronic stress can disrupt the balance of your gut microbiome, while an imbalanced gut microbiome can contribute to stress and other mental health issues. This cycle can be challenging to break, but there are some great strategies that can really help. So let's start with stress and then move on to gut health. There are several relaxation techniques that can help reduce stress, including deep breathing, meditation, and progressive muscle relaxation. These techniques can help calm the mind and body and promote a sense of relaxation. Exercise has been shown to reduce stress and improve mental health. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity activity most days of the week. Adequate sleep is essential for managing stress. Aim for seven to nine hours of sleep per night. A diet rich in fruits and vegetables and other whole foods can help reduce stress and improve your overall health. So avoid processed refined sugary foods, which can contribute to stress and other health issues. Social support is vital for managing stress. Spend time with friends and family and don't isolate yourself. Engaging in activities you enjoy, such as hobbies, can help reduce stress and promote a sense of well-being. Feeling overwhelmed by your workload can increase your stress levels. Prioritizing tasks and setting realistic goals can help you manage your time more effectively. 
It's okay to say no to additional commitments if you're feeling overwhelmed. It's important that you prioritize your own well-being. If you're struggling to manage stress on your own, then it may be helpful to speak to a healthcare professional. They can help you identify the sources of your stress and develop a plan to address them. Next up, let's move on to strategies for improving gut health, and some of these are interlinked with the strategies to reduce your stress. This includes foods high in fiber, such as fruits and vegetables and whole grains, that can support growth of healthy bacteria in your gut. Fermented foods such as sauerkraut and kimchi contain live microorganisms that can help restore the balance of your gut microbiome. So try to eat these foods a couple of times a week. It should be obvious, but adequate hydration is essential for digestion and overall gut health. Exercise has been shown to support gut health and reduce inflammation. So aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity activity most days of the week. Eating slowly and paying attention to your food can help improve digestion and reduce the risk of gastrointestinal problems. Again, a bit of an obvious one, but a diverse diet can support a diverse and healthy gut microbiome. Antibiotics can obviously disrupt the balance of your gut microbiome, so only take them if you absolutely have to. So hopefully you can see from this video that you can't really fix stress or gut health without tackling the other. Anyhow, that's the end of today's video, and if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out this one up here because I'm sure you'll find it equally interesting. And the only other thing that's left for me to say is to remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.